God, thank God for so much. He, this is 2018, the last Sunday in November. God brought us down through 2018 to this book. That's right. He didn't get me on our own. God did. That's right. God did. God did. God did. He brought us. He kept us, and he kept us for a purpose, for a reason. That's he got right. a purpose for your life. He got a reason for your life. That's Amen. Right. Amen. 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 Good. And I, I just had to tell y'all, I see my son sitting back there. Amen. Amen. Yes, I called you out because I thank God for you. Amen. I thank God. Amen.
Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Commit thy ways unto the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. And he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light, and thy judgment as the noonday. Rest in the Lord, and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospers in his way, because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. Seek from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil. Amen? Yes. All right, so that's Psalm 37. All right, 2 Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 2 and 9. 1 Corinthians. God is putting it together. 1 Corinthians 2 and 9. 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 2 and 9 reads, But as it is written, I has not seen, nor ear heard, neither have it entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for them that love him. But God has revealed them unto us by his Spirit. For the Spirit searches all things, yea, the deep things of God. Amen. 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 May the Lord bless the reading here and doing of his word. Amen. Amen. Father, I thank you for this day, God. I thank you for this appointed time. Thank you, God, for just being God, awesome God, mighty God, wonderful God, almighty God, all-knowing, all-providing God. Just thank you for being God, merciful God, giving God, loving God, saving God, yeah. everything, yeah. God. Yeah. God, I thank you for, for everyone that's here today, God. I ask you to come, God, and just let your Holy Spirit have its way, God. Amen. Use me, God, however you see fit, God. Do the thing that you want to do, God. Unbutt my lips and loose my praise, God. And just give us a word today, God. We need to see you today, God. We come to see you. We come to worship you. We come to give you glory. We come to give you praise. God, let us take your word and let it just soak in us, God, and then let it just permeate us, and God, let us give you the glory. Lord, I thank you for your word. I thank you, God. Thank you for your word, God, and we just give you the glory, the honor, and the praise. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 So today, uh, the word that God gave me, we're going to go back to verse 9 where he said, the things which God has prepared for them that love him. So the question is, do you love him? Do you love him? Do you love him? That's what we're going to talk about today. Do you love him? And back in 2 Kings 4, we're going to pick up with that. Do you love him? Well, then drive and go forward. Do you love him? If you love him, drive and go forward. Y'all gonna see God bring this together here in a minute. Drive to go forward. God, you know, He works in mysterious ways. You know, I, uh, you know, we love to travel. We on the highway, me and Mike would be going to different places. We used to travel a lot. And so God would just freak my heart on these church signs. I started living for the church signs. You know, when we take a trip, that's what I look forward to. I look forward to seeing the church signs. You know, what, what word they got out there today? And God, He's so awesome. He just freaked my heart. And so, after years, I said to myself, and said to God, I said, oh, I church sign. I said, I don't know who do our church sign. I said, but, you know, I would like to do that. Okay. And so, I think it was in the next conference. I don't know if I asked or somebody asked, or do somebody want to do it? But he laid it up there for me, and I said, I want to do it. And I already told God I would like to do it. So, in this next today, God is going to be up challenging us to some things that, that we can ask him. That he, he pricks our heart. He, he places that desire in us to want to do for him. Amen? Amen. 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 So we're going to go back to, to 2 Kings and pick up here. We talked about Elisha and this Shunammite woman. All right. And I want to encourage you to read the whole chapter of chapter 4 because the first seven verses is about the widow and the, the little oil. Yes. You know, they were willing to take her sons and put them in bondage uh, in servanthood, you know, because you know, she couldn't pay the debt. But God worked that thing out. So so she was a woman, had no money, so we're going to talk about the Shunammite woman. She, she had some money, but, but but they had something in common. They both had their trust in God. So we're going to see here, you know, she was a great woman in verse 8. That's what it tells us. And she said, she, she, she invited us. 
Elisha to come and have dinner at their house. Every time he would pass through, he was going, you know, to the next city, to, to the school of prophets or doing his ministry. So she supported his ministry. She, she wanted, she saw a need that she could provide. Come into my house and they fed him dinner and did everything that they needed. She, she had to give the hospitality. Had to give the hospitality. But, you know, she wanted to go a little further than that. So she told her husband, honey, sweetie, boo, or whatever you call it, she said, I don't see that this man is a holy man of God. He comes here continually. He passes by. And she said, let us. I want y'all to see what this woman doing. She said, let us make a little chamber. So, so she was a faithful woman of God, and she was seeking to do the things of God. And, and, you know, we started here at verse 8, but before that, I can see that this woman has been serving in the community. She's been, uh, you know, feeding the hungry. She's been clothing the naked. She's been visiting those that were sick, visiting those in prison. And I, I believe her house is like, like an open door. Her, her, her house is like an open door where anybody had a need, okay. she would take care of it. She had discernment. She was looking to see who she could help. She was asking God, like Ellen Moore, who can I bless today? Who can I help today? She was a woman that had means. She had means. Uh, but she was seeking to do what God had called her to do. She was asking God, God, what can I do? She wasn't sitting up on that little loop she had. She was giving it out, meeting needs of the people. But she wanted to go a little further than that. So she said, let us fill the little chamber. Let us fill the room for the man of God. Let us fill the room. And then she, what she put in a bed. I don't know if it was a sleep number or what. But she put a table, a stool, and a candlestick. So, so he could come in and have some privacy. He could pray. He could meditate. Yep. And he could you know, hear from God. So back in those days, you know, God spoke through the prophets. So if you want to hear from God, it was through the prophets. And it says in verse 11, and it fell on the day that he came there, he turned into the chamber, and he thought about this woman and how she had done all of this for them, built a room onto her house. I don't know if she called it the pastor's study or the meditation room or, you know, whatever name she may have given it. You know, but she did that. And so, so Elijah wanted to know, well, what can we do for this woman? He had his servant, Gehazi, with him. What can we do for this woman? What can be done for her? He said, call her. So they called her, and she came. He said, well, what can we do for you? Well, she said, nothing. He said, well, can we speak to the king on your behalf? She said, no, I dwell among my own people. He wanted, you know, ask him, can he speak to the king today? Set up, you know, maybe a GoFundMe for her or something like that, you know, in our day and term. She was like, no. She, you know, uh, something happened to my husband. I'm with my own people. They're going to take care of me. So then he told Gehazi, well, what then can be done for her? So Gehazi told him, he said, uh, you know, she does not have a child and her husband is old. That's what Gehazi told him. He said, well, call her. So he called her back. And he told her, he said, uh, in verse 16, he said, About this season, according to the time of life, thou shalt embrace a son. Yep. And she said, Nay, my Lord, thou man of God, do not lie unto them man, their handmaiden. She said, No, Lord, don't tell me that. If it ain't for me, I don't want it. Okay. She said, If it ain't for me, God, you know, I'm satisfied. I'm content where I am. You know, I've learned to be content in whatever situation I am. I'm happy to serve the Lord. That's what she did. She was content. But, but Elijah uh, made her a promise that she was going to embrace a son next time this year. So she did conceive a son next time, about the time he had said. And it said the child grew up. He, uh, he grew up. But, but commentary said he was about six or seven years old. It said he went out to the field to his father. He said, my head, my head. He was sick, so they told him, take him to his mother. So they took the boy into the mother, and it says that he sat on her knees till noon and then died. And she went up and laid him on the bed of the man of God. Yep. She laid him on the bed of the man of God. This room she had made for the man of God. She put him on that shepherd door, and she went out. Went to her husband. Didn't tell her that the son was dead. She said, Give me one of the young men, one of the strong young men in the ass, that I may run to the man of God. Husband said, Why are you going to church on a Monday? It ain't Wednesday. It ain't Sunday. Why are you going to church on Monday? He knew something was wrong, you know? Because they had that holy days that they met, you know, and heard the word. Husband said, Why are you going to church on Monday? Why are you going to church on a Saturday? Why are you going to church on Thursday? She said, so I can run to the man of God. So God said, he's showing us that so when we come up on something, he wants to run to him. He wants to run to him. We ain't got to call mama. We ain't got
come back to life. Okay. Yeah, and he told Gehazi, go call the Shuamite. Call her. And when she came, he said, take up your child. And she went out and fell at his feet again and bowed herself to the ground and looked up and took up her son and went out. She bowed her feet. Mm -hmm. Fell at her feet and bowed herself to the ground. That's what God wants us to do. When he do something for us, he wants us to bow down and tell him thank you. Thank you. Just bow down and tell him thank you. Thank you, thank you for what you've done. That's right. Thank you for all you've done. Yeah. And what I want to point out about this shooter mighty woman, that's over in, in uh, Psalms 37. This is what kind of woman she was. She was a Proverbs 31 woman, too. But this woman, she put, she did, first thing she did, she put her trust in the Lord. So she was seeking God. Okay. She put her trust in the Lord, and she was doing good. And it says, you will dwell in the land, and you shall be fed. So God fed her once with the son, and he fed her again when he raised him back up. All right. All right. And she, it said, delight thyself also in the Lord, and he should give you the desires of your heart. Delight, that means take great pleasure in, in the Lord. Take great pleasure in the things of God. Then he said, commit your ways to the Lord and trust also in him. And he'll bring it to pass. Anybody got anything you want God to bring to pass? Anybody? Amen. 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 He'll bring it to pass. You know, I imagine this, this mother, when she was buried, her husband was old, she probably had prayed to God about a, 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 a child because back in that days, and I'll send you some lessons, you know, it's frowned upon to be buried. She had prayed and put that on the altar. And she didn't stay right there watching it. She went on and did her work for the yeah. Lord. Left that. And forgot. Probably forgot she prayed. But God had forgot. God remembered. And it was all in God's plan. You know, God, he'll use things to get you where he wants you to be. You might not be ready to receive what he got for you until you get in position. You got to get in position. Seeking God. And get in position is first things first. Seeking Him. Seeking yeah. His faith. God wants us to seek His faith and not the things that He can give us. Because He said if we seek Him, He's going to give us what we need. Desire yeah. our heart. Yeah. But if we get anything otherwise, it won't do us any good. No good. So, do you love Him? Do you love Him? Yes. Drive forward. Drive and go forward. Do you love it? Because what that uh, 1 Corinthians 2 and 9 said. It said, but as it is written, I has not seen nor ear heard, neither have it entered into the hearts of men the things which God has prepared for them that love him. Do you love him? Yes. Do you love him? Yes. Love him because he first loved us. Amen. Yeah. Love him for who he is. He's God. He's the giver of life, the sustainer of life. Give of all good gifts. Do you love him? Yes. Do you love him? Will you serve? Yes. Will you serve? Yes. Will you step out on him? Right. You know, this woman had some gifts. The gift of hospitality, the okay. gift of mercy, the yes. gift of helps. And so God has given you gifts. So how are you using your gifts for the Lord? How? Do you let God use you? Yes. And, and you can step out even if you're scared. Because I'm a living witness. Even when I accepted to do the church sign, I, I was scared. Everything I do, I'll be scared. I'll be scared. But somehow the Lord just, uh, he, he, he does something to get you to stand up and go on. He'll just, he'll just rise up in you. I'm a living witness. You do it scared because God is with you. God is with you. Lord has not given us spirit of fear. But he knows that some fear comes in because he talks about it a lot in his word. In his word. You might fear, but if you got God with you, you all right. You can make it with God. So do you love him? If you love him, sir, he's got some gifts in you that you ain't used yet. Because eyes haven't seen, ears haven't heard the things that God has prepared for those that love him. And then God told me, get ready, get ready. You get ready to see something you ain't never seen before. Okay. He got a God. Look at here. God said we can't. Our mind, we can't even come here. That's what right. God has for us. That's what right. He wants to take us. Right. What He wants to do. What He's trying That's to right. do. We can't see it. We can't even imagine it. So He said, "Get ready. Yeah. I'm getting ready to see something I never seen before." Yeah. Then I walked in here this morning, heard something I never heard before. Oh my God, right. He's good, y'all. He just yeah. keep on bringing us. He wants to use you in great and mighty ways. Oh if He can use me, He can use anybody. Yeah. If He can use me, yeah. He can use anybody. Yeah. I'm a 